Welcome back to M Hood Fishing. So I'm in the middle of the Sabine River right now on my brand new kayak. The question is, is this kayak catfish ready? I don't think it is, but I'm gonna give it a go today. I have uh, two rod holders to try out today. I have one that I purchased and one that came with this kayak. So we're gonna get down the Sabine a little ways, not too far, but a little ways, and we're gonna go for some catfish and see how they handle on this boat. Pretty calm down here under the bridge. So I'm in the middle of adding a bunch of things to this kayak and just generally making it better, better for me. But I haven't been able to take it out for a few days because of weather conditions. I was just itching to get out. So I thought we'd come out here today and check out the river and try to get a cat or two. Look how low this is. I know some of you are new to this river. Some of you aren't. Ever since I moved back to this area, this river has been dropping each new time I come to fish this river. It's dropped a couple of feet. It's a lot lower today than it was the last time I was here over a week ago. Look at all that wood. Should be able to get a good ways before this wood just stops us. It's a problem with the river being so low like this. There are gonna be places where I just can't get around it. I would have to ford. And because it because of conditions with the bank, I might not be able to do that. It's likely that areas where I could ford, it's gonna be difficult because of steep banks. But it's not necessary. There's catfish here. Okay, so I'm in my first bend. This is my first deep hole along this run. And I want to go to the end of it and start. I don't want to start up here close to the highway where it begins. I want to go downstream more to where I can't go any further. And then we're going to work our way back. This We are under winter conditions today. Well, you know, not the worst winter conditions, but... We've been having lows at night in the 30s, and last night was no stranger to that. It was like 30-something when I woke up this morning, but not freezing, not below 32, just like 33 this morning. But it is supposed to get up to 57 today, so this water is pretty cold. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in one place, give it a little bit. If nothing happens there, we're going to move on. So catfish are not going to be in the deepest part of this hole. They're going to be conjugated one end or the other ambushing bait or waiting for stuff to float in their way there might be some in the deeper part but we're gonna we're not gonna start with the deeper deepest part of the hole which whoa no this bank right here i caught a bow fin from it a couple weeks ago water was a little higher water was up here when i caught that bow fin you see right here all right, so we're gonna go down here a little ways and I'm gonna tie off to a branch. Here's the rod holder that I bought. It's a Scotty, look how big it is. This is the gearhead adapter. Let's put this on my track. This is super easy to do. You see this right here? Put it in the center circle here on this track till it fits, slide it to where you want it, and then you twist it clockwise to tighten counterclockwise to loosen and there you go pretty good now this track is what we're concerned about today these screws are just wood screws they're Torx they look heavy duty but they're not they will free spin there's nothing to back them so they are not really tight they're in here but will a big fish take this off that's what we're gonna see today we're gonna test out this track might have to replace it this could be a good plastic track it's just not attached really well in my opinion because like i said these just free spin because they're just wood screws i've talked about it in another video let's put this scotty on now you just slip that in there and all right i got my rod holder slipped in there it it's locked and loaded but it, it's still look at that look how wobbly that is part of it's the boat part of it's the uh track all right, now I'm gonna put their rod holder in. If I can get it in the right place. There, that's what I, that's what I want. 
No, that's not what I want. The problem with their rod holder is it's so close to where you're, you gotta change your foot rest to do that. I don't like it. I'm using a pretty simple slip rig, not a lot of weight because there's no current. I've got 30 pound main line, 30 pound leader. I'm gonna use an OT3 uh, circle hook by Team Catfish. We're gonna use little pieces of bluegill for bait. I'm gonna put out two rods, they're both the same. I'll put this over there towards the shade, towards the far bank. It should be deeper along that end. We're in a hole, but we're not in the deepest part of the hole. We're like where it should shallow up, but just a hair. Should be a transitioning point around here somewhere. Should be a good place to pick up a cat, especially along where this wood is. Could get a bow fin too. Let's put out the other rod. All right, the other rod, I'm going to do something different for the moment. Let's see what's in the center there. That might be the deeper part. We'll just see what, we'll, we'll try both areas and we're gonna move around a lot. This is what I don't like about this rod holder. It doesn't really fit this rod too well, but it does and it's a mile away from my seat. There we go. I have to get on my knees and lurch forward to get at it. But the boat doesn't, you know, go crazy. Oh, we're getting a bite on the far away ride. Oh, look at this. Oh, come on, come out of there. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it's got a bit of a fight to it. Is this another bow fin? Look at that, can you see that people? I know the sun is in your eyes. Come up there. Whoa. Oh no, we got us a cat. We just flip this one in the boat. I didn't bring the net, I have this, but I'm not gonna need it for this one. Man, I hope we'd get a nice bow fin today. Well, that, that rod holder that came with this boat handled this channel cat just fine. But there's more out here than just channel cat, but that's a, that's a nice eater sized channel cat. All right, nice. I'll let this one go. Well, first catfish on the kayak. That is pretty cool. Didn't really get to test out the Scotty rod holder. Did get a few bites on it, but nothing really serious trying to paddle one-handed here so I don't end up in this tree. Well, anyway, we're losing light. It's getting late, it's getting cold. I'm gonna go ahead and close it here. Got a good idea of what I need to do to this kayak to further it along for catfish. Don't know how much of that I'm gonna do because it is definitely not catfish ready, but I will get it as ready as possible and we will move on. So like, share, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff, and I will see you next time.